Here are 40 tips that will give you a huge edge in the finals season 2. The light portal can actually pick up vaults. So if you place the portal right on top of a vault that's being unlocked, the second it unlocks it will take the portal and go to the other side. You can use this to steal vaults that you aren't sure that you'll actually get, or you can place your portal on top of a vault, start opening it, and then make a portal up to 70 meters away to save yourself some crucial time. The data reshaper might seem random at first, but when converting barrels there is actually a set order it will actually convert to. Red barrels turn into smoke canisters, smoke canisters turn into goo canisters, goo canisters turn into orange barrels, orange barrels turn into gas canisters, and the gas canisters turn back into red. Props will always turn into barrels, though which ones they do turn into seem completely random, and enemy gadgets will always turn into props. The dematerializer actually allows for so much creativity, other than obviously creating holds to get off angles. With some walls you can even create holds that give you enough cover that only your head shows, which gives you a so-called head glitch. One of the best uses for the dematerializer will also be ice fishing, where you open a hole in the floor and shoot at any enemies that are below you. You can also do this from below and have them fall down on top of you, which I like to call kidnapping. The dematerializer can also be used to scale large walls that you otherwise couldn't. You just make a hole in the wall, climb up on that new ledge, and then keep climbing. You can also instantly climb to the next floor in a building by looking up and then dematerializing as you are jumping and moving forward. This can even be chained over and over again to clear an entire building from the inside, assuming the roof isn't too high up. Not too many notice, but the dematerializer can close any dematerialized holds with the secondary fire. This includes your own holds, but the dematerialized walls from enemy mediums as well. Do note there's a small delay before you can close a recently dematerialized hole, and the ability as a hole has a really short range of 5 meters, so you practically need to be right next to the wall to interact with it using the specialization. On the new Cis Horizon map, you can go inside of this ball by using either a dematerializer or placing a light portal right underneath it. Grenade trajectories are finally accurate this season, so when you do hold a grenade, the trajectory will not only show where the grenade will travel, but where it will explode. You can use this to your advantage and line up the fuzzy ball against an enemy to have the grenade instantly explode as it hits them. SA-1216 wasn't touched this season, which makes it the best gun for heavy assuming you can get close enough to your enemies. You'd be throwing not to run it. If you're playing medium, you can place a ton of mines underneath the floor of a cash out and then open up the floor with a dematerializer to kill anyone who goes for a steal. The portal can go over 70 meters away, as I mentioned previously, and keeps the momentum of anything that you throw into it, meaning you can put it in between a vault and a cash out to instantly pop it up to 210 meters away. It's safe to say that the new defibrillator is kind of bad, but it's still a hands free revive. Make it a habit to at least take another half a second, pick up your teammate, and then put them behind cover before you're starting a revive. If you play in the open, you can also try by standing behind them as they revive to confuse your enemies and have your spawning teammate draw some fire. Remember, just because it's nerfed this season doesn't mean that it's completely useless. If you place both ends of a portal right next to a cash out, this will make it harder for the enemy to steal last minute as they might accidentally take the portal instead of actually starting the steal. Keep in mind that gas damage has changed, it now starts after half of a second and ramps up in damage every tick. This means that you can no longer heal through the gas the same way like you could in Season 1. Any old subscribers might remember the old trick that fire will instantly evaporate any gas that it gets in contact with. On Power Shift, there seems to be a finite amount of spawn points where every team seems to spawn in from around the same area. This makes it very easy to camp a spawn, just keep an eye on where they are coming from and odds are they're gonna keep spawning from that same direction. For example, it appears that in the case of Skyway Stadium, all teams seem to spawn around the office high grounds. Not only can you change every gadget, weapon and specialization in between lives in the power shift game mode, but you can actually change your class as well. So go nuts with the counter picking. If you have the multi bucks, you might as well buy the season 2 starter pack. You get some cool limited edition skins as well as those multi packs refunded to spend on something else. You can shoot the anti-gravity cube after it's been deployed to break it. It really doesn't need that much damage at all. Some walls like the one in this clip have at least double layers. This means that if you line up your dematerialize it the right way, you will be able to only peel one of those layers off. In some cases, that means that you can stand on top of that layer using it as sort of a pixel ledge. It's worth noting that any dematerialized walls will not rematerialize as long as you or a teammate is standing inside of them. On the new Cis Horizon map, you can actually stand on top of these lights that you can find in certain buildings, most importantly the museum. In some cases, there are some climbing routes to get to them, and in some cases, you need to use movement abilities to actually get up there. The KS-23 has some pretty destructive capability and can tear through walls pretty fast when compared to other weapons. It takes four shots to create a breach charge sized hole in a normal wall or floor. 
Completing the circuits will not only give you free skins, but you can actually get multi bucks for completing these challenges as well. A heavy can use a slime from charge and slime to slam down and hit the bottom of an anti gravity cube lift. If there is a challenge that you don't like in your circuit, you can just re roll it using some excess VR. Dematerialized walls will automatically go back after 30 seconds if nobody rematerializes them. Due to its cooldown, this also means that you can have a total of four dematerialized walls out at the same time. As of this patch, there is now an audio cue every time your teammate dies, which sounds like this. And an audio if you're the last one standing on your team, which sounds like this. If you're solo queuing like me, you'll be hearing these noises all of the time. Get used to them and make a habit of instinctively changing up your current strategies if one or even both of your teammates go down. You can use a gateway like a tracer recall ability. Let me explain. Before you engage in a fight or go for that flank, place a gateway on the floor, then go and do your thing. If you need to reset out of the fight, just quickly place that second gateway and go back. Remember, it can stretch up to 70 meters, so you'll have to run really far to actually run out of its range. This also means you can use it as a bit of a leash. If you're planning to leave the point, put a gateway down before you leave. If anyone starts stealing it when you aren't nearby, you can put the second gateway back and instantly teleport back to the cash out. If you ever see a gateway, you can actually see which team a gateway belongs to. The middle of the gateway will be color coded in the same color as a team of its owner. If you place Heavy's anti-gravity cube underneath a moving platform with the cash out on top of it, the cube will grab and lift the cash out. Once the platforms have moved out of the way, you can destroy the cube or just wait for it to disappear to have the cash outs left on solid ground. This is especially useful on Seoul, where this trick lets you place the cash out in the middle of the Seoul Hospital Bridge, which makes it near impossible to steal. Just like with the Season 2 Starter Pack, you'll get all of your multi bucks back if you buy the Bell Pass as long as you complete it to the max level. On Power Shift, you can actually stand under the platform at any time. It's a great way to get cover when there is too much going on around the same time. The KS-23 Shotgun for Heavy uses a special reloading technique that you can abuse to get the most value out of it possible. When reloading the KS-23, assuming you didn't empty it fully, you will put in one slug at a time. You you can cancel the reload in between any reload by just hitting the fire key and shooting. If you let the KS 23's ammo go all the way to the bottom, it will reload a lot faster, two bullets at a time. Keep in mind that when using the dematerializer, that in most cases, depending on the walls, or the way you're aiming it, it will only destroy one layer of walls or ceilings, and in many buildings, there is usually a loose layer right underneath the real ceiling. If you want to get through any of these double-layered ceilings, you'll need to either use two charges by pressing the primary fire twice, or by destroying the soft layer before dematerializing the actual ceiling. For the time being, if you're being revived by a medium defibrillator, you're actually able to use all of your specializations. This means that a heavy can bring out their mesh shield as soon as they get revived. Though this is part of a tip, it might just be more of a bug, so I would not recommend using this where it matters, like in ranked. But if you guys do find more undocumented changes, bugs, or tips for season two of the finals, make sure to drop those on my subreddit r slash auto submissions for a chance to get your submissions featured in some upcoming videos. A great way to save a teammate that you are defibrillator is by using the dematerializer. Just dematerialize underneath their hologram as they are reviving and it will fall to the floor below. When using the anti-gravity grenade, you can melee the cash out while adding movement input to push it around. Both the dematerializer and the anti-gravity grenade mess with your ability to properly see and shoot enemies. It sort of distorts your view and gives you a bit of a double vision. As such, when you are trying to shoot an enemy through any of these, shoot the outline and not the model. You can also follow the enemy health bar, whichever works the best. You can use the anti-gravity grenade on an enemy to trap them and suspend them in the air for a short period of time. And that was 40 tips for season two. I hope this helps you getting an edge and become a pro edger. You have to hit the like button if you're a pro edger now. And if you found value, make sure you hit the like, subscribe on the video. If you want to get even better at the finals, check out the video on the screen. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time. Peace out.